Hi, it's Dr. Centeno. How does the symptom of anxiety and craniocervical instability in Aractin, can one cause the other? We've seen lots of patients through the years who have craniocervical instability who report this abnormal anxiety. They weren't anxious people before they got craniocervical instability, but then they became highly anxious. And obviously there's lots of causes for anxiety, but in some of these patients, We've seen it go away when we treat their craniocervical instability. So what's going on? Well, it seems like it's due to irritation of the vagus nerve. Realize the vagus nerve is responsible for chilling you out. And when it gets irritated, it loses that function and the patient can get anxious. Associated with that can be tachycardia or rapid heart rate. And that happens due to irritation of the vagus nerve at the atlas or C1. So if we can get rid of the craniocervical instability without surgery, uh, we can usually get rid of that just sense of being anxious all the time. So uh, there is a link in my experience between anxiety and CCI. Uh, hopefully this explains things. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.